Dr. Dave, and I am here at Panera Bread. We are continuing our fast food tour, and today's choice is Panera Bread. Now, this was a very popular request by our viewers, so we're gonna go inside and try to pick out a few healthy meals, if any. So come on, let's go. Hi, how are you? I'm Dr. Dave from Dr. Dave's 411. Maybe you've heard of it? No, okay. Um, so I would like to order the, um, do you have the oatmeal available still? Yes, I think so. Okay, great. So is it just one oatmeal? I'm not 100% sure. I don't work in the mornings. Oh, okay. So All right. It's um, portioned, each, like each one is the same portion. Okay. Are there different types of oatmeal or just one? All right. So oatmeal, still cut oats, has a lot of fiber, um, has been shown to decrease your cholesterol, and probably has a very favorable nutritional profile here at Panera. We do have regular oatmeal, and then we have an almond quinoa oatmeal. Ah, that's good. Almond quinoa oatmeal. That would be great. And then do you have, uh, in terms of salads, the strawberry poppy seed with chicken would be great. So, um, and do you have the black beans by any chance? Black beans, like black bean soup, or? We don't have a black bean soup. The only thing that we have with like beans in it is the turkey chili, but that's seasonal. Okay, do you have the 10 vegetable soup? Yes. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna go with the 10 vegetable soup, which is gonna add a lot of fiber, a lot of uh, nutrients. Um, we're gonna go with the salad, and we're gonna go with the uh, still cut quinoa. Did you want the whole salad, or half? Um, so, I'll go with a half salad, please. Did you want a cup or a bowl for this? Um, a cup is fine. We'll save the environment. And then you just wanted the regular oatmeal or the almond? Oh, that has almond? Yeah, so we want the almond. So almonds has good fat. Uh, so we want to we want to load up the almonds. They're almond slices, right? Yeah. Okay. Did you want anything to drink with that? No, water, please. We do have cups of water, but um, right. That's perfect. Thank you. So I'm excited about this meal. So we have the steel cut oats, we have the strawberry poppy seed salad, and we have the 10 vegetable soup. Okay, so we'll, we'll check it out. Hi everyone, it's Dr. Dave. So I am here with the food that we ordered. Now, let me just give you a little background. Because I was so traumatized by the McDonald's menu, it was overwhelming. There were so many choices that I realized that the smarter approach would be do the homework and then go to the restaurant and check out the food. So I did do my homework when it came to the Panera food. And what you can see here is the results. So we have steel cut oats, we have our strawberry chicken salad, and we have our 10 uh, vegetable soup. Um, so the nice thing about the steel cut oats is that it's less processed, it contains more fiber, has lots of vitamins and protein, has about seven grams of fat and seven grams of sugar. So let's give it a try. It looks really good. It looks clean. Um, we have slices of almond. We have quinoa. I love quinoa. Quinoa is one of my favorite foods because it has high protein. Uh, it has high fiber. Um, so whenever I can eat quinoa, I try to. So let's give it a shot. It's greeny. It's dry, but it's clean. It's, it, it tastes good. Um, there's no milk. You probably could add almond milk. I don't know if they have almond milk here. I don't really taste a lot of the honey, which is a good thing because we don't want to overdo honey. It's a lot of sugar. So overall, I like the still cut oats with quinoa. This is a really nice breakfast that you can try at Panera Bread. I'm, I'm good with this one. So let's move on. So the next thing we ordered, that would be great for breakfast. Now we're gonna talk about the strawberry chicken salad, um, serving for one. And um, just please note, we also ordered a, um, a sprouted grain roll, and I'll talk about that in a second. But, but just looking at this salad, I see a lot of colors. Um, we have nuts, we have, um, we have strawberries obviously, we have the salad itself, there's blueberries, um, I think there's pineapple in here that looks, there appears to be mandarin. So I'm liking this already. Lots of colors, I'm feeling good about this one. So if you look again at the salad, you can see that um, 
despite the colors, we have to be careful because there's still um, there's still a decent amount of fat. There's 16 grams of fat. 4.6 of it is saturated fat, so we have to be careful with that. Um, but overall, good. Now, please remember, we're not talking about the dressing. We're, we're speaking about just the salad. So if we add the dressing, as always, you're gonna most likely have a lot more fat, a lot more sodium. Take a look at this sprouted roll. I love sprouted rolls. They are low glycemic index. They're easier to digest. They're better absorbed. And because they're absorbed better, you tend to have higher nutritional value. Now, when we talk about glycemic index, glycemic index is when you eat a food, how fast does the sugar rise in your body? You don't want sugar spikes after you eat food. You want the sugar to level off. So um, a sprouted green roll will help avoid a spike. So I'm liking this meal. Let's take a quick bite. Now remember, I'm not a huge fan of chicken. I've said this many times because we know that chicken has the same amount of cholesterol effect on the blood as red meat for the most part. So. You know, I try to avoid the animal products as much as possible, but I'm going to try it here. Pretty good. A little cold, but not bad. It does have a lot of flavor and definitely has the fruit there to balance out the salad. You get a sweet, sweet flavor. Um, this sprouted roll. This is very dense. You can really taste how dense it is and how... There's, there's a lot of fiber. Um, so this is a really nice addition to the salad because it's a starch that's gonna fill you up. So if you're gonna, if you, you require starch, go with the sprouted roll. Okay, let's talk about the vegetable soup. So the vegetable soup, to me, nutritionally is a home run. It has, if you see here, you can see, it has a lot of greens, it has a lot of vegetables, it has a nice little piece of uh, lemon, but the beauty of this dish here is that it has 70 calories, it has 1.5 grams of fat, but here's the problem. The problem, and this is a theme, not just with this restaurant, but with most fast food restaurants, is the sodium. If you have high blood pressure or you have problems retaining water, you have to be very careful. This, um, this serving has approximately 730 grams of, of sodium around there. You know, it comes in a cup and it comes in a bowl, but nonetheless, you know, bite for bite, it's gonna have a lot of sodium. So let's take a, a taste. This is delicious. This is great. I love it. It's very salty though. That's my only problem. So lots of fiber, definitely will fill you up. Be very careful with the sodium. So overall, we have breakfast. We have two options for lunch and dinner. And um, this to me is about as healthy as it's gonna get at Panera Bread. Um, there are a lot of items at Panera Bread and you have to scrutinize all of them. They are available online, the nutrition labels. The one thing you will see throughout all of the items for the most part is high sodium, so just be careful. Okay guys, so that was my experience at Panera Bread. I like it, I definitely think we have some viable options here. Let me know your comments. And if you like this video, like us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. Okay, until next time, this is Dr. Dave.